Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with the Fleece Fox Studio. So if you're like me, you want a ring light. But uh, when you go to buy one, you realize they're over $200. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make one for about 30 bucks. Let's get to it. We need a few things for this project. First of all, go to Amazon or someplace like that and buy two of these mats. These are the interlocking foam mats. While you're on Amazon, you can also get the roll of LED lights. So this one right here was $10 and it comes with this uh, adapter for your, uh, your wires into a power plug here. Okay, and this power plug is 12 volt, two amp, and I think it was like $6. The mats you can get on Amazon probably around uh, two to three dollars a piece. Now go to your local hardware store and find one of these. It's got the uh, two different screws that allow you to uh, cinch a cord together. You want to make sure that you take out the normal thread screw and you can leave the other one in. Okay, and now for an option, you can get um, some wire nuts and an on off switch, um, but that's not necessary. The other stuff we're gonna need is a speed square or some kind of straight edge, Sharpie, some rope or thread or string, tape, a couple of paints, need a black and either a white or a silver. And then we're gonna need a hot glue gun and either a hot uh, air gun, a heat gun, or a uh, blow dryer should work. So we need to make a circle in the first of these pads here. So let's put another one off to the side. Now, the string and Sharpie and straight edge are for making the circle. So you might be wondering, what was the point in that? Well, we're trying to make a perfect circle. So I'm gonna use my straight edge on the edge of uh, the foam here, and I'm gonna keep the marker uh, straight up and down with that, just as a guide. And now I'm gonna take the other ends of my string here, and I want to put this one straight out, and this one is going to come down here and intersect. So where that's going to intersect, I'm going to pop a piece of tape on here. So uh, where it intersects is where it's going to be the, the size of your circle. So if you want it to be, you know, this big, you'd put it here. So I'm going to make mine, I believe, about this big right here. So that just takes a little practice and getting used to. Now, we have to have the middle of this cut out. So uh, with your same uh, string set up here, come in about two inches. So now, when we go over this again, you'll see that we are gonna make another circle about uh, one or two inches or so. Um, inside of that one. And now we have two sets of lines. So we're gonna have to cut out this middle one and then around the outside to give us this ring. This piece is gonna be what we attach our camera mount to. And because it's so much longer, I wanna be able to put uh, a little bit more on here. So I'm gonna come down here and just draw an extra line and then over here okay and then just come over here and finish up your line so basically we're just making an extra little piece that will um, glue down on here and that will give us um, more coverage with a hot glue gun in here to keep this thing really well uh, cinched in there now that we have the basic shape of our light here, I'm gonna take a knife and just go around and get these cut out. 
Please be careful with this step because razor blades can be quite sharp. There's our circle cut out. Now it may seem a little flimsy now, but we're going to be fixing that. So set this aside and we're gonna to get to work on making it stronger. So take the scrap piece that we just cut out there and you can use your straight edge again. We're going to be cutting a couple of strips and those strips are gonna be molded around the outside and inside of the circle making kind of like a channel and that way uh, the lights can be put on the inside of that but it'll also make this a lot stronger and give that curved up shape that the ring lights have. Now take your speed square and set it along the edge of your foam. We're going to be cutting off all of these little uh, tabs in here to make a flat edge and then I'm going to come up to about the three here and I'm going to be cutting along that. So what you can do with a speed square is put your marker there uh, let's see, and start just sliding it up. And that'll make a line at three. So out of that scrap I was able to cut two of these pieces here. Now what we're going to do with these is come around here and see how it's going to make a little channel. So we're going to have one on the outside and then one on the inside like this and that's going to be the structure of our ring light. Now you notice that this is not going to stay very well and that's because this foam uh, has rigidity. So we're going to be using the heat gun to kind of mold this into the shape that we want. I have all the strips cut now. had three for the outside two for the inside. So let's start with the inside. We're going to want the smooth part to go in. So what I want to do now is heat this up and then curl it inward like this. So let's see how well this works. Alright, so basically we're just getting this thing pliable so it can be glued on the inside of that ring. I have the glue gun ready here. Now I'm just going to be uh, inserting some glue down in here and trying to get this uh, set up quickly before it uh, dries. So just plop this in here. See how well this is going to stick in here. Yeah, that's going to be great. I have both the middle and the outside glued on. But I'm coming back and just filling in uh, the cracks to make sure everything is uh, definitely together well. Now the inside of this ring needs to be fairly reflective. So I've got some spray paint here. The spray paint is now dry. So we're going to be moving on to the LEDs. So this is the plug that's going to be used to go from the lights to the power adapter and I want this to be here on the front but to give this a little more support what I'm going to do is trace around this piece and I'm going to cut a little bit into the foam to kind of seat this in there so I'm going to set it up here like that and just go around with a sharpie now I'm going to cut out that design so that this piece can be sunk in there. I have this piece in here secured now. Before I glue it, I'm going to uh, get the lights in though. So these lights, which of course link in the description, they have tape or uh, on the back side of them here that you can use to stick on to stuff. So I'm just going to simply go along here and stick this inside once you have the LEDs wrapped all the way around uh, in this case I got three times around and there are two sets of uh, dots in here and that's the place where you can cut so 
Uh, for instance, I'm going to use right here, and I'm going to cut between those two sets of lines there. Sorry that I'm in your way. Okay. And that is going to allow uh, me to use the rest of those lights on another project. Okay. And there we go. Now it's time to get the wires into this adapter. So on the front here, there's a plus and a minus. So the red is going to go into the plus here. So I'm going to stick those into the appropriate spot here and then cinch those down. Now with the wires connected, I'm going to stick this piece on top here and that's going to help cinch that down some. And then just going to dab some hot glue up under here. So with a couple of scrap pieces, I've got to get this piece here so that it can be put on the back side of this. So what we're going to do is just uh, cut this down a little, cutting these edges off here, so that this piece can be glued onto the back of our uh, ring there. So I clean out a little bit of this foam here to set this piece on, and also on this one. Now I'm going to put lots of hot glue on here to get these pieces stuck together because this will be holding the weight of the whole thing. Hopefully that's enough. And I'm going to hold that tight for a little while to make sure it gets all that glue stuck together. Now the last thing for us to do is attach this new uh, block here onto this. Once the support is glued on to the back of the light, it's time to plug it up. Now I've just got this stuck on a basic umbrella light stand. so. Here we are, uh, plugging it up. There you go, nice and bright. Thank you for watching this video on how to make your very own ring light for 30 bucks. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Also subscribe. I do tech related stuff on this channel all the time. I'm Seth Johnson with the Fleece Fox Studio and I will see you in the next video. Bye.